My life has mostly revolved around sports, religion, and being a nerd. Seriously, I can't begin to tell you how much money I've spent on video games, comic books, movies, and other stuff my future self will regret. It is these life choices that have shaped who I am as a person and who I will be in the future. I chose this poem because it does a good job reminding us that we are imperfect. We are only human and we all have or will make choices that we regret and there's nothing wrong with that. Because of these relatable themes, the poem just feels more real and well, relatable. I have never arrived into a new life yet, have you? Do you find the squeak of boots on snow excruciating? Have you heard people say, it wasn't me, when they accomplish a great feat? I have, often, but rarely. Possibility is one of the elements. It keeps things going. The ferry with its ratty engine and exactitude at chugging into blocks and chains, returning as ever to mother's house under a salty rain. The poem opens up with three questions. The first asking you whether or not you have arrived into a new life. The second asks if you find the squeak of boots on snow a painful sound. The third asks if you've ever heard someone say, it wasn't me, when they've accomplished something. The author made the first question the most difficult one to answer. This is a good technique used by the author because it immediately gets the reader thinking about his or her own personal life and the choices that he or she have made. The question that struck me the most, however, was the one about the squeak of boots on snow. It is the only one left unanswered by the author. It is also the only line that talks specifically about footsteps and how each step can be a painful one. What I found most interesting about the third question wasn't the question itself, but rather the answer. I have often but rarely. This infers that the author has either told people it wasn't her when she accomplished something great, but has heard it from others rarely, or it could be looked at the other way around. My favorite line from the poem is the one about possibility. The reason why we work so hard both in and outside of school is because of the possibility of success. We are dedicated to our education now because we know it will increase our chances of success later in life. It's these goals that keep us motivated and it is our motivation that helps us overcome our weaknesses and our failures. Another line that I found interesting was the last one. Returning as ever to mother's house under a salty rain. The image of the mother's house creates a mood of comfort, while the salty rain creates a feeling of bitterness and depression. This is a great way to end the poem because it is the same way our mistakes and failures end. Returning back to square one and feeling horrible about it. Just about everyone can relate to this poem, which is what I think makes it so great. We all make choices every day. Some of those choices we may regret, but that is what makes us who we are as humans and individuals. This poem is a great reminder of that.